Gulf Breeze, Florida. Seventeen years ago, this was the location for one of the most sustained series of flying saucer sightings in American history. Any time that somebody says that there is something doesn't necessarily mean there was something. They have to be able to meet a scientific criterion of being, being real. Upon coming across the Gulf Breeze sightings, however, the configuration was radical enough that we could uh, see up inside and uh, that that was up inside was uh, was light and uh, it uh, as though it was hot and uh, and not only that but it was circular in configuration Boyd Bushman thought he recognized what was powering these saucers and he recognized it because he himself had worked on the technology Bushman had spent 35 years in the forefront of weapons design, inventing the prototype of the Stinger missile before moving to Lockheed, at the heart of the American military saucer industry. Uh, this is nothing more than 250 turns of number 30 wire, and we uh, took the leads and plugged it into standard house current. What happened next astonished everyone. And there it is. Even now, Bushman doesn't fully understand how this works. But when he saw the photographs of the Gulf Breeze saucers, he began to wonder if they were using the same technology. I see it starts smoking. This experimental coil is extremely dangerous and becomes very hot within seconds. But Boyd believes that explains the white glow inside the Gulf Breeze saucers, which he thinks are unmanned drones. If you modify the voltages and, and the frequencies, uh, this configuration uh, may well fly, in fact, should fly perfectly well. And uh, we believe that that's, that's what the people in the Gulf Breeze experiment did. We have many, many little caveats of top, top secret areas. Uh, I've been in many of them. Uh, I did indeed stumble across this and probably did develop it. 